Hey everyone, it's Onglor. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today we just received some new information and most importantly a price tag on Skyrim Anniversary Edition and a couple of little bits and pieces of more information regarding consoles. So let's get started. As you can see here, November 11th is when everything drops and that's going to be pretty soon. So let's see what exactly Skyrim Anniversary Edition is. The Skyrim Anniversary Edition bundles together Skyrim Special Edition with every piece of Creation Club content released at the time of the Anniversary Edition's launch, including additional quests, armors, and gameplay modes. Get a first look at some of the included content in our article here. So, if you don't already know what some of these quests are and armor, you can click on this link, and I already talked about this in some of my other videos. A lot of it looks pretty cool, so I'm excited to see most of it. Players who already own Skyrim Special Edition may choose to purchase the Anniversary Upgrade, which includes all the Creation Club content mentioned above in one convenient high-value bundle. Alright, so let's see what this high-value bundle is going to, well, how much it's going to cost us. Alright, so if you do not own Special Edition, it's going to cost you 50 bucks, Europe 55, whatever currency this is that much. And Australia, man, it seems like they're really sticking it to them for 80 bucks. That's a lot. And whatever currency this is, it seems like a lot. So if you don't already own uh, Special Edition, it's going to be 50 bucks, which seems a little bit expensive to me, honestly. But if you already own Skyrim Special Edition, the United States price is going to be 20 bucks. Europe 20, whatever this is, that much. Australia 30, and whatever that is, that much. So, honestly, for a game that's been out, well, more than 10 years, these prices seem a little bit high, in my opinion. Um, I think this should be like maybe 29, and this should be like $10 for us to upgrade. That's just my personal opinion, but what do I know? Because they're giving away some of the bigger bundles to people who already own Skyrim at launch which were kind of costly and I already own them. And then also it it brings a question to mind of what if we already own most of the Creation Club content because I own just about every single one and the ones that I don't already own for special edition I really didn't want or I was going to wait for a sale to come along. So it it just kind of makes me wish that there was going to be some sort of price drop for us but there most definitely probably is not going to be so that's what that is and it's just really interesting some of the wording like they use here released at the time of anniversary editions launch so that makes me wonder if you could i know they're talking about this in another article or the previous article you know um just the way they word it i wonder if you can purchase some of the creation club content at a different time and not necessarily have to upgrade to anniversary edition and the reason why i wonder this is because i have my skyrim exactly the way i want it to look texture wise graphic the whole nine yards and if i can get away with just purchasing some of the quests separately and if it's not too expensive i might just do that we're just going to actually have to see so here's a couple of little pieces of other information will there be physical version of the anniversary edition there will be copies physical ones of the anniversary edition available for playstation 4 and xbox one systems please note while the physical edition contains a game disc internet connection is required to redeem and download the creation club content in the anniversary edition so there you go if you want a physical copy you're gonna have to get go get it for a console i don't own one so yeah so is Skyrim getting a next-gen upgrade? Yes. Owners of Skyrim Special Edition or Anniversary on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS will receive a next-generation update for the game. The upgrade will be free and optimized. The game with enhanced graphics, faster loading times, and more. Okay, so that's actually pretty cool for, you know, those console owners. But what about the rest of us, like PC and whatnot it is you know with that type of price tag that's mentioned up here you figure all that would be included right because what about us who have 
to still pay the price tag but not get the next gen upgrade for PC and the, you know, whatever PlayStation, Xbox people have, right? You figured it'd be included in everything. All right, so here's another question that people have had. Will my achievements slash trophies carry over? Any achievement, trophies, progress earned, playing Skyrim Special Edition will carry over to Anniversary Edition, except when upgrading the PlayStation 4 version of the game to PlayStation 5. I wonder why that's a thing that's interesting, but there you go. If you're worried about your achievements or progress, uh, there's an answer. I've done so many playthroughs, I don't even think that really matters to me personally anymore. But there are people who love to have all those achievements, and I don't blame you because it's a lot of work. All right, guys, so we have a price tag here. As you can see, if you already, already don't own the content, it's going to be 50 bucks. And if you already own Skyrim Special Edition, it's going to be 20 And there's still kind of a lot of questions that I have, and which will definitely be answered soon, like when the game comes out. Just because some of the wording, it's like, I'm just wondering if I can purchase some of the quote-unquote Creation Club content and just keep Special Edition but not have to upgrade to Anniversary Edition. Just the way they worded it in previous articles, it was kind of twisted and left open for interpretation. So, at the time before I actually buy Anniversary Edition and break my game when it comes to mods regarding SKSE, I'm going to see if I can purchase some of the bigger quests and keep my special edition and the only reason why I'm, I'm wondering this is because I really do like the way my Skyrim looks now and I didn't really care for a lot of the creation club stuff you know um some of it was really I liked it that added like all the new quests armors and all that jazz but the, there was some I could just do without and regarding anniversary edition it might be the same you know it's like okay I might not want this but I want that so it's just we're gonna have to see when November 11th hits and I just I still have some questions which will be answered fairly soon. All right guys, so how do you feel about the price tag for all this? Do you feel it's too expensive? Do you feel it's just right? I would love to hear what you feel about all this. So that is the end of this video and I wanna thank you once again for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach that 5K follower mark and every follow helps. All right, thanks again guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.